it's the only reason I can justify my existence here. And I look, why am I here? What, what function does this serve, you know, to be a human being on the planet? And the only, really the only thing I can come up with that's, that's halfway reasonable. <laughs> the meaning of life. Yeah, well, is to uplift and nurture all life. We're here. We're in Austin. This is Joe Marshall, my good buddy. I'm Garrett Wilner. We're just going to have a conversation. Joe, welcome to uh, this Eckhart Tolle uh, kind of uh, park bench. Conversation here. with Joe. Yeah, well, it's, it's a good conversation. You know, we keep on looking for like that marker that says we've made it. We've we've accomplished it now. You know, like like it's done. And and the truth is, is that evolution isn't something that has that 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 has occurred or that will occur, <clears throat> evolution is something that is happening right now. Right this very moment, we are evolution. ask you about evolution. the word creativity. Uh, what exactly is creativity? And where does it truth? truth. Mm. What, what really is truth? Which brings me to a question, uh, what is humor? Did I, I catch you off guard? Yeah, you got me off guard, man. <laughs> do that, we then, as a species, began to demand that all human beings either be able to answer their understandings biblically or answer their understandings scientifically. And if they couldn't answer their, their, their understandings of the universe, either biblically or scientifically, they were considered a witch. And 14 million intuitive people, at least, were murdered as a result. And so intuition kind of went out of style, you might say. <laughs> Not very popular. <laughs> and I believe it is emerging again. And as a result of us right now being evolution, that everything is in that constant flux. Everything is in that constant change. And that's where the law of repeatlessness comes in. That every moment is fresh and new. That nothing is repeating. And so there's no stagnant kind of like achievement per se. There is no someone who has accomplished genius. There is the action of genius. There's not someone who has accomplished enlightenment. They are being enlightening. They are in their enlightening. And there's not someone who has, you know, really achieved anything. The moment we put that static kind of, it's done, we're then completely associated with the mind. And we've denied the truth of our reality that every moment is fresh and new and every moment is changing and every moment we have the opportunity to alter our course and alter our perception. And if we're not, then we're basically dead. But I'm going to ask you the easiest question in the entire interview here. This one should go over the fence. Okay. What is the meaning of life?